The abstract is a vast concept. In it we are able to define anything, and I mean anything, we like. It is possible, indeed often easy, to define abstract systems which change over time. It is not necessary to individually define the state of such a system at every particular moment in time. Instead, the state of the system can be determined by a defined behaviour, and we can simply compute the state of the system at any given time. For example, consider a system based on the binary expansion of the irrational number pi. Let's say the system is in the on state during the nth second if the nth binary digit of pi is 1 and the system is in the off state during the nth second if the nth binary digit is zero. We know that this system would be in the off state during its first two seconds, would be on for its third second, etc. We also know that this system would be off during its quadrillionth second, but it is not known what state the system would be in during the previous second. However, we can be sure that it is definitely on or definitely off during this second whether we calculate it or not. Here's a system which is a model similar to particles bouncing off each other in a container. The motion is not realistic as there is no transfer of energy between the particles, but it was not my intention to be realistic here. It's an abstract system in its own right, regardless of how realistic it is. This is John Conway's game of life. It is made up of cells where blue means alive and white means dead. In each step, a live cell with less than two or more than three live neighbours dies, and a dead cell with exactly three live neighbours comes alive. For example, this cell I've marked with a green dot has three live neighbor cells, so in the next step, or as it's sometimes called the next generation, it will become alive. Similarly, all the cells marked in green will come alive, and all the cells marked in red will be dead in the next step. This deceptively simple definition leads to a complex abstract system for example, this run has been set up so that the system generates prime numbers marked by the groups of live cells which escape off the left of the screen. Here's an example of an abstract system. A simple gravity simulation with a planet moving around two fixed bodies. I conjecture, although I expect I am not the first to do so, that there are many abstract systems, abstract worlds, in which the complex interactions at some or many times contain structures that we would identify as creatures as they would behave, interact, and even think and be self-aware. I would not expect us to have the computational resources to see it on our computer screens in the foreseeable future, but just like the uncalculated binary digits of pi, they are there whether we calculate them or not. As to whether or not we would be the god of such a world would depend upon the definition of the term god and the answer to the age-old question of whether mathematics is invented or discovered. As an aside, I think the God title fails for both reasons. It is an active area of interest in physics to uncover a theory of everything, and if they succeed, we would have an abstract system which behaves identically to the real world.
The question I am asking you may now be obvious. Do we live in an abstract world? But is there even any meaning to that question?